What's going on, guys? Welcome to my official soda tier list, okay? Now, some of you may know me, some of you may not, but um, I have a slight bias, uh, as you can tell. But that doesn't, that's not going to strew away from the brutal honesty and truth I will reveal in this video today, okay? So, let's hop right into it, all right? So, first things first, all right, I'm going to explain a little bit of background history myself, okay? When I was a younger T-Dog, okay, a long, long time ago, my parents never wanted me to have soda. Why? Because they believed the myth, along with other people, that soda isn't good for you, okay? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Soda is good for you, okay? Soda is perfectly good for you. The first ingredient is water, all right? Can't be bad. It's mainly water, <laughs> okay? Now, wherever I went, whether it was my friend's house, um, what do you do as a kid? Birthday parties, um, f f restaurants, fast food. I would always try to order soda because I loved it so much. It was so good. But they never wanted me to. So I built this, like, this lust, this need to get soda. I love soda. I just love it. Okay. Regardless, let's get into this. So I'm just going to go by, um, I'm just going to go by what's provided. Like, I'm going to start at this can and I'm going to end on this can. Okay. Um, person that I can, I can, I can see from looking at some of this stuff that I actually haven't drank some of this before. Um, there's only one thing I noticed that I haven't drank everything else that I have drank. Okay. So let's start. So seven up cherry. I'm going to, I'm going to give seven up cherry. I'm going to give this, I'll, I'll give this a C. Okay. In my opinion, cherry is the best variant a soda can have. Um, I do don't think there's anything better than a cherry variant of a soda. I'm trying to think. No, yeah, yeah. Just if you just have a soda, whether it's a Coke, a Pepsi, whatever it is, you know, what I mean, cherry is usually the best variant there. Um, this soda has the word diet on it. What does that mean? Uh, the word diet means flavorless shit. So F. All diet soda, F. 7-Up, I'll give this a B. I think 7-Up is a good soda. 7-Up is a soda that you can't really drink in bulk, though. Um, so, for example, if I have a long day of streaming, long day of practice, whatever, I might pound down, you know what I mean, five, six Dr. Peppers over that course of a couple hours, you know what I mean? It's a soda that you can continuously drink. 7-Up, uh, it, it's, it's, very, it's very bubbly. There's a lot of carbonation in it. So if you're drinking a lot of them, you're going to be fucking burping, kind of uncomfortable in, like, the chest, you know, stomach area. But, um, I think 7-Up is a good soda, though. Diet root beer. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, is this the cream soda version? Okay, so this is cream soda root beer. Cream soda is, it's not overrated, but cream soda, you have to treat it like, kind of like a whiskey, right? It's another soda that you can't just, just bang them back, you know, soda after soda after soda. You drink probably, like, one cream soda, and you're probably good. Uh, because of that, I'm going to put it at a, C, as a, at a C. I know that some people may kind of see that as like kind of BS, but um, I think that it's a fair spot based off of um, like how, how it's a variant of root beer, right? So regular cream soda would be higher than that, but since it's a variant, it's, it's a C. Diet, so F. It's an F. There's no going around it. Root beer, okay. Now... A and W root beer is an A if it's from a can, okay? If it's from a bottle, it is an S, okay? But since we're talking about cans, A. And I don't mean a plastic bottle. I mean a glass bottle, okay? That that enhances that enhances flavor. Now this is this is diet this is diet root beer. No, you know what I mean? It'll never be good. <laughs> Now, this is a root beer that I grew up drinking. If there was a personal favorite uh, slot, I would put this in it. Um, I think this is a really, really, really good root beer, um, especially from a can. I think this can really make the difference. Now, what does this say? Is this Canada Dry? I think this is cherry, right? Is this a cherry? It's because it's a cherry and it's ginger ale, I'll give it a C. I don't think it's D worthy. Um, I don't know what that is. Is that like a lemon ginger ale? I'm going to skip this because I've never had it, okay? I've, I've never really, like, had this variant. Now, Diet Ginger Ale F. 
ginger ale alone, in my opinion, ginger ale is really good. I could drink ginger ale, uh, like casually. You know what I mean? Not most people drink like ginger ale when they're kind of like sick or something like that. You know what I mean? Like your mom will get you like if you're younger, your mom would get you like some fucking crackers. You know what I mean? Like a simple fucking a simple simple carb, simple starch, and you know some ginger ale. You drink that. I think ginger ale is a B soda. Uh, I I could casually drink that. Uh, caffeine free Coke F. F. It, it's an F. Uh, first of all, Pepsi is superior to Coke, okay? Coke Gaming has the audacity to put ads of Coke on my channel. Uh, you know what I mean? As the reigning king of Dr. Pepper, that's just blasphemy. You know what I mean? Uh, when my sponsorship arrives, okay? When the email's there, there will never be a Coke ad on my channel ever. Okay, but Coke isn't terrible, right? Pepsi is just better. That's all it comes down to, you know what I mean? It's like, it, 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 it's like Tens and Wardell, right? Two great Jets. Yeah, they're both good, but, you know what I mean? It's, you t you t you're going to take Tens every time. You're never going to take Wardell. All right, that was kind of toxic. Forget it. Coke Cherry. This isn't bad. Um, I think Coke Cherry is better than regular Coke. I'm going to give it a B. Um, I, I think it's good. I think regular Coke is all right. I'll give it a C. I don't know what Coca-Cola life is. I don't know if this is some sort of seltzer, some sort of unholy combination. I, I don't want to know. Um, and again, I'm doing this tier list based off of sodas I've drank. So if I haven't drank it, I'm not going to judge it, right? So everything here so far, I have drank. Um, so yeah, this is a an orange Coke. I've never drank that. Um, wow, that's terrifying i think this is a diet coke right here based off of the can coloration uh diet coke is actually one of the only tolerable sodas that is a diet for me because it has aspartame in it um so aspartame is something that basically just kind of like tingles the back of your throat uh when, when you drink it diet coke isn't an f i would give it a d this is the only exception um yeah zero zero sugar coke no f f F, it, F, it, it can't be good. It, it's zero sugar. It can't be good. There's, It's not possible. All right, crushed grape. I'll give that a C. Okay, this isn't bad. This is a diet orange. I would. I never had it. Uh, I'm just going to put it at F just because I can read it, and I know exactly what it is. Crush orange. Now, this is some good shit. Okay, we're going to put this up at B here. Crush is a really good soda, okay? Crush, what does that say? Peach? Oh, fuck me. I have never ever been down bad enough to try that crushed pineapple wow some of these flavors are really just i mean where do you even buy something like that okay oh here's the diet coke okay let's take this back because i don't know what it is now and then we can put the diet coke here so these are flavor variants of diet coke i've never tried any of these personally I th like I said, I don't drink diet soda. It's very, 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 very disgusting. Um, diet right. This sounds like something um, when you were in middle school. You remember when Obama was elected to president and Michelle Obama was very concerned about the health of children and the vending machines went from sodas, um, you know, some juices, you know, delicious, delicious snacks with uh, tons of fat to lettuce and diet water and unsalted just dehydrated grass chips you know what i mean it's like fucking hell man what a horrible time period um regardless that's what this sounds like this diet right shit i i don't know what this is i would never ever ever try it ever uh diet dr pepper it's diet even though it's dr pepper it can't be saved, you know what I mean? It, it, even though it is the best soda of all time, it, there's just no saving it. Um, F. This is Dr. Pepper Cherry. This is this is an A. Dr. Pepper Cherry isn't as good as OG Dr. Pepper, but it's very, very, very good. Okay, I like the cherry twist. I can't see what this is. It's a white. It's a it's a white wrapper on a Dr. Pepper bottle, which usually insinuates diet. But I already have the diet can, so are they doing both? I don't know. Uh, we'll skip that. Dr. Pepper, S-tier soda, best soda in the game. Why? Blended with 23 unique flavors, okay? That is why. Dr. Pepper is like an artisan soda, okay? So it's, it's, it's just, it's on a level that the others aren't. 
that's that's the easy way okay i don't have enough time in the day to explain the true reasons of why it is just equivalent to just ambrosia god nectar just it's really good fanta grape same levels crush uh, i don't think one is better than the other grape wise now orange wise i do think crush is or i'm sorry i do think fanta is a better orange than crush I'm going to put that at A. That's a soda I really do enjoy drinking. Uh, Fanta Pineapple, I have, I have drank before. Not the worst. Um, again, I've never really seen the canned crushes flavor-wise. That's why I haven't rated them. I never drank them. I'm sure they're probably you know close to the same level as Fanta. But um, yeah, so Fanta Strawberry, never had this. Fago, this isn't that good. Um, this, is, this is one of those sodas that you don't really buy. Um... It's kind of like a meme soda. I've never like had anything like that in my fridge. I I've drank that out of cans or bottles before. You know what I mean? That you'd get in like the little fridges. But that that's a uh, Fresca. I've had this. This is like a lemonade type soda. Um, it it really wasn't good. I remember. I specifically remember having this because of the cup that that it was in. It was in a little white foam cup. And I remember. I remember it was like at some sort of party, and I was being like you know not greedy about it i just poured myself like a little of that shit you know what i mean the fresca and i remember it was so bad i didn't even finish it uh mellow yellow this is an underrated soda um i think that mellow yellow is what the hell did i just do i think mellow yellow is actually pretty good um I, I i drink mellow yellow mellow yellow is usually at a place uh with coke products or i'm sorry with um with pepsi products places that don't have like a sprite and stuff like that um i, I think mellow yellow is pretty good it, it's kind of like an off or i'm sorry i don't Okay, I didn't mean Sprite. I meant Coke. Because Mellow Yellow is a variant of a Mountain Dew. That's what Mellow Yellow is. Uh, and I don't think it's bad. I, I, I think it's pretty good. Um, Mountain Dew, this is the Baja Blast, right? I'd, I'd give Baja Blast out of a can of B. I I think Taco Bell Baja Blast is pretty good. Now, Mountain Dew Code Red. This is an OG soda for me growing up. Uh, I remember going to the gas station with my friends before we hung out after school and stuff like that. And if you drank this, you were a fucking alpha male. You know what I mean? Like, th that, that's what you got right like the code series the code series of the mountain dews was like a very 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 great period for the pepsi company um i don't think it was the best it was all right you know what i mean but mountain dew mountain dew the variants of mountain dew they're another soda where you can't really like drink it you know what i mean like you, you can have like a can and you're kind of done this is this is like one of those those like uh, tall boy cans you know what i mean probably like 16 fluid ounces something like that 20 fluid ounces um, but yeah, Diet Mountain Dew. F! Mountain Dew Ice, never had it. Mountain Dew Orange, never had it. Um, I don't know what that says right there. I, it, it honestly looks like not good. Mountain Dew, A tier soda, 100%. Mountain Dew is a really, really, really good soda. Um, okay, I do, I do know the white, this white Mountain Dew. I forget what it's called, but I remember seeing one of these cans. I don't know if this is the Diet one or not. But I'm rating this based off of it not being diet. It's a C. I think it's not bad. It's kind of like a white Mountain Dew. Uh, I'll give that a B, actually. No, I'll give it a C. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Okay, now, diet root beer. F. Mug. Mug. Mug's root beer. Mug's root beer is very frothy. Uh, I think that mug root beer is... Um, what mug root beer is, is... It, it, it's a root beer float root beer, right? So there's kind of like different calibers to these root beers. Um, a and W is kind of like your everyday sipper. Barges is um, kind of like a root beer that's very, very sweet. It's very strong. Uh, it, it's thick as well. So that's kind of like a more, kind of like higher class, kind of like a Dr. Pepper. And mug is something that's very frothy. You use it in the floats, hence the... Uh, the bulldog holding the uh, root beer float. Now, 1893. This is this is pitiful. Um, if you are, if anyone here is ever gonna make a drink, make a soda. Don't don't make something that doesn't belong. Right? Look at these sodas. Bright, bright colors. Little graphics about the ingredient or maybe the flavoring. This looks like liquor. This is what this looks like. You know what I mean? And I actually see a Pepsi logo on it, so I, I I don't know why I don't know what this is, but this looks gross, and I've never tried any of them. Now, I think this is caffeine-free Pepsi, F. 
Let me explain why caffeine-free and diet. Let me go into a little more detail on why these are all Fs. Soda is meant to have sugar, high fructose corn syrup. It is meant, it's, it, it, it's meant to be like that, right? It's meant to be sugary. It's meant to be, uh, you know what I mean? Like caffeinated. That's what it is. Don't try to strip it of its roots and make it something it isn't, okay? Like, that, that, that's, that's all I have to say about that, you know what I mean? Like, you, you're down horrendous if you're drinking a zero sugar do- fucking Coke, bro. Just drink a fucking water at that rate, man. That's what you're drinking. You're drinking, like, fucking gutter water. It's just brown. I don't know, man. I just don't get people who do that. Now, Pepsi Cherry. If this is a wild cherry Pepsi, it is an S. That's what I'm rating that off of. If that is a wild cherry Pepsi, that is an S. Pepsi is elite. Okay? Diet Pepsi F. Regular Pepsi. A. This is OG Pepsi. Okay? Otherwise known as old school Pepsi. Sawed after. A soda. Absolutely. Um, I can't see what this is. Pepsi Max is kind of like a C. Not that good. Um, I can't see what this is as well. The the, the image is too small. Uh, RC Cola. This is a good substitution um, for kind of like your generic colas, your Pepsis, your Cokes. <coughs> I would give this a B. Uh, no, I would give it a C. I, I would give this a C. I don't, I don't know if this is Diet RC. I'm not even going to move it because I've never drank it. Um, but I, I give RC Cola a C. I don't think it's great, um, but I don't think it's bad. Like I said, it's kind of like a substitution if you're at a place that... I don't, I don't know. Whatever place doesn't sell those, I guess. Um, I don't know what's on this bottle. I know that this is Sierra Mist. Now, might get some flack for this, but I think that Sierra Mist is a better soda than Sprite. I would put Sierra Mist at an A, and I would put Sprite at a B. Sprite Zero, F. Um, I've never had this. I don't know what that says. Squirrel? Squirt? Yeah. Wow. That is just really bad branding. Sundrop. Not bad. I'll give it a B. Uh, I have drank this at uh, like motorcycle races, events like that. Um, Sunkist. Sunkist is the Sunkist is the adopted brother of the Fanta and the uh, Crush. Okay, that's that's what Sunkist is. Sunkist just go make like Capri Suns. You know what I mean? Just don't. You shouldn't have tried the soda game. It's not for you. I've never drank a sun-kissed grape. I have drank a sun-kissed orange. I think it's terrible. Uh, the, just the flavoring is kind of wrong. Uh, it's gritty. Not good. Surge, I've never had this. Um, but this is the soda tier list. I think that I think that my soda tier list is probably the most accurate. You know? Like, being a soda connoisseur, you know what I mean? Like, you guys can trust my judgment, you know what I mean? Um, but this is it right here. Um, I think I had Dr. Pepper and Wild Cherry Pepsi, two S-tier sodas, unbeatable, completely different. Obviously, the Pepsi is flavored, but I think that the Wild Cherry Pepsi is just higher than all the other flavored sodas. Our A's, we have all the root beers, Cherry Dr. Pepper, some OGs like Pepsi, Orange Fanta, Mountain Dew, Sierra Mist. That's kind of a hot take. Uh, and B's, we have 7-Up, Ginger Ale, Cherry Coke, Crush Orange. Mellow Yellow, a.k.a. Coke's version of Dr. Pepper. They didn't have a Mr. Pib on here, uh, which is interesting. Or Coke's version of Mountain Dew, as I meant to say. Mr. Pib is Coke's version of Dr. Pepper, and that would be at an A if it was here. But for some reason, it's not. Maybe I could have done a different tier list, but I, th- I think this is pretty accurate. I think there's some interchangeable stuff based off of like personal preference, you know what I mean? So like Sierra Mist could easily change for a Sprite, um, you know. Like Sun Drop could like easily exchange for like Fresca if you're if you're down bad enough to like that. But like I said, all diet and zero fucking sugar, zero calorie sodas. F. Just drink water, <laughs> please. Please do not ruin the art of high caffeine, high fructose corn syrup goodness. All right, that's it. Do you have any questions, concerns? <laughs> Uh, comments, please leave them down below. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I have some big plans coming up. We're going to be introducing a high quality merch line, not like meme merch. Um, it's going to be kind of like, you know, high quality, clean, 
streetwear is kind of what I'm going to be introducing. We're going to be getting new badges and new sub emotes for Twitch. Um, I have some work going on with kind of like some logo type stuff. Uh, a lot of new YouTube video ideas, and yeah, as always, I'm live seven days a week. I'm currently on a 378-day streak of consecutive streams, averaging 10 hours a day. So uh, you know where to find me, twitch.tv slash Thank you guys for tuning in. I love you all. Hope you have a great day. Drink a fucking Dr. Pepper for me. I'm out. Peace.